EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Boston TPC Championship. Nata. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. We're at the TPC Boston in Massachusetts. Frank, this is a really good looking golf course. Fun golf course too, Rich. It starts off with a relatively soft par four, not very long, and then of course the fourth hole, if you remember that on TV, it's a drivable par four, five really, this beautiful dog leg left par four. I think it's one of the prettiest holes on the golf course. Reminds me of Sunningdale in England. Seven's a par five, two good hits, you might better get home. Uh, don't don't talk about the ninth to Phil Mickelson. Never really likes that hole at all. He's uh, made a mess of it over the years. Uh, good finish there at 18, but really, if you want to look at maybe a tough stretch in the back nine, 13, 14. If you make a couple of bars through there, then you've done well. He's gone for a little extra. That is a green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green, but he is by no means in for par yet. A lengthy putt coming up. That was not a very good read right there. Trying to make yet another birdie. Great roll right there. Just a pure stroke right in the heart. Here at the par five second hole, just over 540 yards, Frank. Yeah, keep it to the left of those bunkers. You can play it as a three shotter if you're not too ambitious, but well, why not sort of dangle the little hook out there and have a go at it for two. Long and straight. That's how you do it. These winds have held up all day long, definitely playing a part in the shot making we're seeing out there today. Second shot. This is heading in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have a little luck? Now the third shot at the par five. Just slides by. Man, yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. and getting ready for the putt. You'll love them, the birdies, and that's another one. So we started with a short par four, then the par five second, now a par three here at the third, Frank. Got an L-shaped green just protected by that bunker on the right, so be very careful where that flag's located. Good looking shot right here.
Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. This for birdie. Has it. All right, Frank, now at the fourth hole, this is a chance to flex the muscles. It's a drivable four. It is. Well worth the go, but just be careful. If you flare one a little right, just right of those three bunkers, there's a little bit of a hazard. He pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Gonna need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Frank, what's the best way to get at the golf ball when it's sitting down just a bit in the rough? You have to accept the fact first and foremost that you're not gonna get clean contact. So you have to decide whether the ball's gonna come out short or it's gonna fly. Because very rarely will it come out the normal distance of what you hit on the fairway. So if it's a little thin and wispy, chances are it might fly. If it's nestled down, you're gonna have to take at least another club. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. So they'll tap in. Did the job right there. Frank, the opening at TPC Boston, you could describe it as fun, gettable. It starts to change in character here at the fifth, doesn't it? Yeah, beautiful par four. You've got to be cognizant of exactly how far you can fly the ball, though, because there's three distinct sections of this green. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. In the hole, and a birdie. This is one of the most challenging holes on the golf course, Frank. 465 yard, par four sixth. Yeah, just hit your tee shot in between those two trees. You don't have to be too aggressive. You really do have to hit this ball on the fairway because that green is tucked very close to the water. I'll be pretty happy with that 290-yard poke off the tee. From the heart of the fairway, 180 yards in. Oh, this is right at it. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. <laughs> 
So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. We're at the seventh hole now, a Boston Strong 600-yard par five. But it's reachable. There's enough mounding there. If a tee shot catches one of those mounds, it could kick another 20 or 30 yards and certainly make this reachable. Good contact, good result. Frank, how impressive is this performance so far? You've got to tip your hat. Really, just uh, play good from the first hole on. Uh, rhythm is good. Hit a lot of good shots. Very smart, uh, very smart decision making as well. Now the second shot to the par five. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. And it makes the green in regulation. Got him set now over the putt. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Coming off the long par 5-7th, now a par 3, 213 yards. What's the eighth hole all about? Another hole that uh, picks with the same theme. Really want to fly this nice and high. Uh, that narrow part at the front of the green really is to be avoided unless the flag is there. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Yeah. And he has it for birdie. Frank, I love a hot dog and a soda at the turn. How hard is it to take a giant bite out of this ninth hole? Looks tough. It is. Uh, everything sort of bends where those two bunkers are, and that's sort of 350 yards to get past that. And there's an annoying little bunker that's about 30 yards short of this green. So uh, you have to be precise with both the first and the second shot. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. Locked in on the read and the speed. Well, that was a tricky one, but it's in. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? 
right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Beautiful rhythmic swing right there and right down Peachtree. Second shot. Good look at the green. On the green in regulation. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, like all TPC golf courses, TPC Boston has the fan in mind. So you see those mounds throughout the golf course that gives people a chance to just sit, relax, and watch some golf. And there's a nice shady spot on the hill behind the 11th. Yeah, that's just before the uh, the 12th tee. And, and you really do get a look at uh, the tee shots coming in 11, as well as the little uh, undulations and contours on that massive green. Just a pure strike, a perfect result. They'll have a good look at birdie now. Shouldn't be a problem here. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. Continues to hold that sizable lead on the rest of the field. Moving on now to the 12th, and Frank, describe this hole for us. Sneaky good par four. It's long enough, you know, sort of that 450, 460 mark. Bends a little to the left. Really, you want to be in the middle of fairway here because that second shot with the green just tilting towards the hazard. One of the toughest second shots you have on the golf course. Oh, that's fine. VJ Singh, Charlie Hoffman, and Big Henrik Stenson, they all have one thing in common. They all tie for the low tournament score at TPC Boston, 22 under. And they're all good. Yeah, this is a golf course that uh, obviously gives in to the longer hitters. And if there's just a little bit of sting taken out of the greens, then these long hitters have a huge advantage. This is a good looking shot. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, a chance for another one today. This is a nine-footer. You love them, the birdies, and that's another one. On the tee now at another par for the 13th. Frank, how do you play it? Well, it looks like it's a dog leg right, but ideally you want to keep that tee shot down the left and you don't want to leave any of it behind. <laughs> Setting up for an approach shot here. There are a number of really good and important Grow the Game initiatives out there. One of those is, is the First Tee program, and that allows youngsters who otherwise might not have an opportunity, the chance to put a golf club in their hands, allows them the chance to pick up this game and learn some of the core values that come along with it. it it's about much more than making a score. It's about integrity. It is about responsibility, values like that. And this game is just so good and instilling those kind of characteristics in young people. Good putt. Frank the 14th, a shortish 
495 yard hole? Uh, only because it's downhill. If you can get that ball running down the fairway, then it certainly sets up a good second shot into this stout par four. like he's going to have a go at it here for par five, his second shot. Seems to like it, and headed for the fat part of the green. Well, couldn't have done much better than that, and the eagle is looking very likely now. These putts keep the round together. Oh, just making a mockery of the field now. Another eagle. Frank, after a couple of par fours where you just sort of let it go with the driver, different strategy here at the 15th? Yeah, you don't want to get carried away here. This is, uh, this is one where just a nice smooth swing, get that ball on the fairway. And that second shot, you've got to carry that false front. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. And that ball is absolutely scorched. Just hit a seed out there. Huge with a capital H. Moved it a long ways. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. That is an Excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Settles in over the putt. Great shot to get the birdie. Moving on to 16 now. This is one where you sort of lick your chops, Frank, because it's it's pretty short, 161 yards. Where's the challenge here? <laughs> where the fish go. That big lake on the left, that's the challenge. This one doesn't look good. There's water over there. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. That looked like it nearly got below the lip, you know, the level of the lip there. Can't believe that one, Frank. That was a complete horseshoe right there. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, 412 yards on the card doesn't look like a whole lot, but... It can play a little longer, because really you've got to play it down the right. Don't play it as a dogleg. Just go point A and then point B. strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. 
Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. This is for his birdie. He's made it. Frank, the 17th here at TPC Boston underwent quite a radical change. Yeah, that renovation um, and that redesign that they did, um, it, it, it changed the character of the hole, but they still kept that big mound in the middle of the green. So that second shot is still punishing if you misjudge it. And players nursing a lead, they might want to think about playing it safe down the right side, but if you're trying to make up some ground, you could uh, try to fly the church pews that divide the fairway into two sections, and that would give you a nice short wedge in. Yeah, give you a short wedge in, but really the risk, is it worth it? That's a good start to the hole, right down the middle. Second shot. That'll be 90 yards. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity to win the Boston Championship. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. the round going, those par putts. That's why you play the game to stack up the wins. Great effort right there.
to be seeing Naruto over and out.